you know, in the later rounds, man, Garcia, I was saying, man, he just was landing the cleaner shots. Robert, with the aggression, I felt like he should have just backed off. He should have made Garcia work it a little bit more. You know, you see, with my last fight versus Luis Colazo, Luis Colazo in the opening rounds wanted to back up. It took him two rounds before he wanted to move forward. In the third round, he wanted to move forward. I said, okay, cool. Now I'm going to back up. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's good to play these little mind games with fighters so that you're not predictable. Guerrero was too predictable. So eventually, Garcia was able to get in his groove. And through the later rounds, Guerrero's defense was lacking. And thus, the big right hands, which was missing in the first and the second round, those they barely any of them landed. They really started to come in the later rounds, and I really believe that's how he won the fight tonight, and the judges see it that way too. Now talk to us about uh, your fight. Big for his own good. Guerrero, you, know, like, you know, it gets in the way of defense and stuff like that. It gets away from his brain. You want a big heart, but from the words of my original trainer, Ben Getty, smart fighters win, dumb fighters lose. Garcia was a smarter fighter tonight. Oh, only natural. Let's, no disrespect to Team Garcia, but he is very vague when he talks about what's next for himself in his career. No disrespect, Al Heyman manages all, all of us, and he does it in a tremendous fashion. And he does have options. So he's just the kind of fighter that says, hey, I got options, and we're gonna see what's next. He's not outspoken like your boy. But his dad is. You know, his dad made it seem like you shouldn't even be fighting Porter now, in his opinion. Who, who gave him that interview? Because I didn't see it, but my homeboy Watch said it. whoever gave him that interview looked at him like, what? <laughs> what did you just say? You know what I'm saying? So this is a long-awaited fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty much he said we should just go out there and make some more easy money. Yeah. Long story short. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Easy money does not bring big fights. They don't bring super fights. Super fights and big fights bring big money and then eventually super money. I am trying to take over the division. I want Sean Porter. I've been wanting Sean Porter. Just like I, I wanted Robert Guerrero a year before I got Robert Guerrero. I wanted Sean Porter over a year before I get Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? As soon as, as soon as uh, Danny Garcia stepped into 147, yeah, I got my eyes on you. Now you're wearing the green belt? Keith Thurman has a vision. It looks like two belts in the future. You know what I'm saying? So 2016, y'all enjoyed 2015. 2016, we're going to get it in. How did you see Pac? Look, man, every fight, especially right now, we're bringing the, the best of the welterweight division together. And we can do that through the PBC promotion. We can make this happen. There is no reason why it should not happen unless if somebody on somebody's team doesn't want to make it happen, you know? I mean, let's be honest. I beat Sean Porter, I lose to Sean Porter. I either beat one of the best fighters in the world or I lose to one of the best fighters in the world. With the victory, we move on to Danny Garcia. Now, it's a little better looking at, just looking at the stats. You get two undefeated welterweight world champions if it goes down later on this year in the fashion that I just said. I got to get through Sean Porter. No one's thinking just above and beyond Sean Porter. We have tons of respect for him. We're going to be ready for him. But if we get to do what we want to do, and you know I've talked about legacy. Floyd ain't in the business no more. I can't, I can't be a legend overnight from beating a legend. That's one way of creating a legacy. That's not an option right now. So now I have to pave the way and carve my own legacy. That means getting through Sean Porter. That means challenging Danny Garcia. And at the end of the day, somebody is going to have two belts and somebody is going to have that O turn into a loss. Does my motto, I got an O. I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. If you can beat me, beat me. I'm ready, baby. This is fun. This is fun. I know you don't think getting slapped upside the head is fun, but I do. I do. I got a different kind of blood.
I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior. I'm ready to die. KO's for life, baby. Did you Danny Garcia know. earn the belt tonight? <laughs> yes, we're gonna. Did we're Danny gonna... Garcia earn, earn that green belt tonight? Really? Danny Garcia did earn the belt tonight. He fought. He took punches. He moved, and he was he was smart in there. So he, he deserved that. Was it an easy round? It wasn't. I mean, okay. Let me hit the real button. Boop. Let me hit the real button. Okay. The real button is. How come it wasn't versus Amir Khan? Let's just hit the real button. Amir Khan has been set up at the top of the WBC, and now Danny Garcia just gets to hop from 147. There's a vacancy, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take it against not the number one contender in the WBC, which is Amir Khan. You know, look, man, that's just, that's just touching onto the real button a little bit. You know, but outside of that, it's not Danny's fault that this is how he got his opportunity. He came, he performed, and he won. He is now the WBC Walterweight Champion of the World. He does deserve it regardless of exactly the matchmaking, how he acquired it. It's still, Robert Guerrero still put a tremendous fight forward tested Danny, made Danny fight a little different. You know, I felt like when I really thought about it, Danny did fight like this before. He fought like it a little bit when he fought Lucas Matisse. But once when Lucas Matisse was bleeding from the eye, you know, Garcia really started to open up. He did start to try to push Matisse back. He never really tried to push Robert Guerrero back tonight, but he didn't need to. You know, I knocked down Bundu. I was winning each and every round. I didn't need to get a knockout. I needed to get a victory, and I did. He got a victory. He is champion, and he should enjoy it. Did he get exposed tonight? So you guys are going to stay did here. He get exposed you, tonight? Um, Davis, did he get exposed uh, in Puerto Rico? Did he get exposed versus Lamont you Peterson? You know what I'm saying? Expose, expose, expose. Let's just be, let me hit the real button. Did he get beat tonight? He didn't get beat tonight. He's never been beaten. You can hate on somebody who looks like they should lose, but don't lose. I can understand the hate. Don't worry about it. I've had it too, you know what I'm saying? I can understand the hate on that. But what you really gotta understand is that Danny Garcia sticks to some of the fundamentals and he sticks to what he's good at. Right hand, left hook. Right hand, left hook. Right hand, left hook. Right hand, left, right hand, left hook. It is what it is.